6, verses 3 through 5. Don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what we're called to, being transformed, this new life. If we've been united with him in this death, we will certainly also be united with him in his resurrection. Amen. Thank the Lord for that. What a blessing that is. And so we can um, say with everyone else, uh, like the, uh, the Apostles' Creed, that we believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into the heaven and sits right now at the right hand of the of God the Father Almighty. From there he comes to judge those who are alive and will remain and also the dead. And we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church of Jesus Christ, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. And all of those of you, if we start with Noah here, who are going to be baptized into the Christian faith, we say as well um, that we also agree with those things. Amen? Amen. Amen. And we ask you uh, as well, um, I'm just going to give your testimony, all right? Uh, because I already know that you agree with the things we've talked about uh, together. We met with every one of these individually, and it was an exciting time together. This is Noah Dillon. Hey, Noah. How's it going, buddy? You ready for this? All right. Noah wanted to ask Jesus into his life a long time ago, but he says that he was afraid that people would make fun of him. Ooh, Noah, guess what? There's a lot of gray heads out here afraid like that as well. They're not just, that's not just a young thing. There's a lot of middle-aged and gray heads that have felt that way. And he finally decided he wanted to take that risk. After church, he asked Big Steve, <laughs> Steve Crosley, uh, if uh, they could pray. And Big Steve got Pastor Zach, and Big Steve and, and Pastor Zach and Noah uh, knelt at the altar, and Noah asked Jesus to forgive him of his sins and to come into his life. And so one passage that stuck vividly in Noah's mind is Revelation chapter 3.20. And he gave that, shared that, that it was a beautiful image of a door without a door handle on the outside. And Jesus was knocking. And Noah said that he could visualize himself inside of his brain while he was praying, uh, opening the door and inviting Jesus in. And Noah wants to be baptized so that he can tell everyone he already accepted Jesus and that he opened the door for Jesus to Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
gotta love Jackson Fry. Yes, we do. Jackson remembers when asking Jesus to forgive him. Of his sin. We should have a lot. <laughs> I loved it as, as uh, uh, Pastor Pastor Zach and I talked uh, with Jackson together, and Jackson he remembers asking Jesus to forgive him of his sins one night in bed after mom and dad had tucked him in, and he shared with us that that he closed his eyes and he prayed and he felt really good afterwards. And he said he's done that three or four different times. And he's, but he says he wants to live for Jesus. Here's what Jackson shared. This kind of was the deciding factor on this. Uh, was that Jackson also shared with us about how God is working in his life. And he understands. I don't, we, and we'll, we'll baptize infants in the church of Nazarene we have if you really want that. But the expression of it is basically that you're going to raise them in the Christian faith until they're like Jackson and get to the age of where he knows what was going on, all right? Because here's what he shared, how God was working in his life. He said that when and if he ever yells at his sisters, there's a little voice inside of him that says, Jackson, let's go do that. Amen. Amen. Aren't you going to encourage Jackson to keep listening to God and follow him? Amen. Why not? 
my sister, my brother. so messed with your heads about the order of service. I'm getting texts and questions. What about offering? What about greeting? What about this? It's all cool. We're going to all get it in, all right? But right now, let's 